uh, hello everybody welcome to another video and today we are actually going to use uh, open cv and and dlip python packages and we'll see how how we can uh, detect face and blur it so what what we need to do is we need to go to anaconda navigator so there are few few things that you will need to keep in mind is that uh, you can't you cannot use pip install dlib directly in anaconda prom so there uh, there is a whole whole process where you will actually have to create create an environment to it and and it is something which is going to take time so i'll create a sep sep separate video for it uh, for, for the time being we will we'll, we'll just focus on on actually uh, uh, re reading the face and blurring it in real time and so see you can see over here that i've already created an environment so we'll move to environment dlib we'll just give it a little time so that it can get started and and there you go so we are in this environment now and and so we'll click on launch so we'll be launching Jupyter Notebook as we did as we did in our previous video. Now we'll go, we'll go to desktop, the folder where we want to create. Now we'll click on new and we click on Python 3. So we have this. So from here in Untitled, we'll change to blurring face. the place in real time so we'll import the three packages which i was talking about we need to import python dlib just again uh, python dlib will have to be created in a different environment we can imp import cv2 directly and we need to import numpy as np the next thing we need to do is we need to capture the video so we'll go with video The cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture. And we'll give it zero because we will be uh, using the camera of a laptop. So, uh, that is why zero. If you have got any other camera installed on your on your computers, uh, you can give one to uh, according to your setup. to so now we'll uh, detect the frontal face so we'll use dlib frontal face okay that's the detector so you can just click on this click on tab so you'll have you'll have the detectors so you don't have to write it and this so these two parameters are ready now we'll do blurred this will give a variable blurred for the timing and we'll give it false in the same way we'll use a variable known as frame and we'll give it false so these are the two variables that we'll be working with now we'll write a while statement so while to rgt that is the rectangle that we are going to give and the frame will be video underscore cap dot read where it will where it will read the video next we'll give an if statement if rt we will go with gray equals we'll use the cv2 cvt color V2 dot use color underscore BGR to gray. Yeah, colon caps 
once this is done we'll create something known as rex like this like rectangles and okay detect gray from a zero once this is done we'll learn a for loop for rex rex let's make the boundaries x right left up this one right go back to dot bottom once this is done we will now use an if statement to check if blurred blurred then now we set the frame frame will be s2 y1 comma x2 x1 this is done we will again use our cv2 packet that is cv2 dot blur we will go frame Y is to Y one. Once this is done, we'll so our statement is ready. Now we'll go for if it is framed. Frame. Let's frame. Then in the same thing, we'll make a rectangle. This will be two dot. Angle frame comma comma y x one y one zero comma zero comma two five four see that color and see. So we have we have a rectangle for uh, we created the frame the rectangle for frame and blurred now yeah so we are fine now we can go with I think CV2 dot in show so we just write CV2 CV2 dot in show so this is in show for me. dot in show and we'll give it video feed video feed and our video feed is in the frame rotation quickly so yeah so we're actually using frame again out here so we'll do one thing we'll just make it framed so references and yeah I think this is better so once we have this now we'll go with sketch CV. CV. OXFF CV. we got weight key weight key we'll set the weight key as one yeah so once this is done, we learn another if if ch is equal equal to ord, then what we have? We for example, let's just press the button B to make it blur. So if you press the button B, then it will be blurred. So we have blur equal to not. We have the statement. Next, we'll go for frame if ch is equal equal to ord. Uh, for frame, let's just press f. So if we press f for frame, it will be framed is equal to not framed. This is done, and obviously we need to give the pause key. So 
let's use this ch is equal to ORD and let's give it Q. So when you click on Q, the one you can just close it. This is done. We will move to our last step that is video underscore cap dot release underscore cap dot release. When this is done, we'll go CV2 dot destroy. All windows and I think our code is is ready to run so we'll just test and see if it's working or not green okay I think this will be so we'll do it framed here. Yeah. It will be if framed. Okay. That is why we should not have given the same variable in the start. No issues. Correct it. And there we have our screen running here. Yeah. So you can see this. If I press F, you can see that it's taking the frame wherever I go. If we press on B, yeah, it is blurring me. If we press on F, it is removed it's the frame is removed and it is still blurred so yeah here we have if you go back still taking the face wherever i'm moving it is keeping me blurred and and if you press q then the program breaks so that that's from my side i hope you guys really enjoyed there'll be more interesting projects coming from me so i i hope you like it please like and comment and subscribe and please tell me if you're interested in any particular project thank you so much guys have a great day